Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my university haul for first year of university. Now I've done my research, I've watched a lot of those like what I wish I didn't take videos. Um, clearly I think I might have got too much, however I think I've been smart with what I've got but we'll see. Um, we'll soon find out from the comments. Let's get going, let's get going on the haul. So first up I'm going to show you a couple of appliances that I got because I am in a studio room which means I have my own little kitchen and so I needed to buy a lot of like appliance and like just stuff that you'd probably share with your flat if you're in a flat. I have no idea whether my room comes with a kettle. If it does I'm going to be a bit annoyed about this purchase but I bought a kettle and guess whose room comes with a kettle. Great time. I also bought the matching toaster and a toaster. For God's sake. <laughs> Moral of the story, make sure you check what's in your room. <laughs> In my room I have a microwave oven and I also have a two ring hob. I'm the kind of person who is going to be like cooking a lot. I've repaired all of this stuff as if I'm cooking every day. Anyway, got a kettle and a toaster, um, there's the first thing. <laughs> Next up we have a very important thing in my life, um, a coffee maker. Um, I bought this little cafetiere, it's literally tiny, but there's only me so I don't need a bigger one. So I'll be able to use that for my morning coffee, which I'm sure I will need. Speaking of coffee, I wanted to get something that I could store it in um, because obviously I don't want it to go weird. Um, so I bought this little jar. I currently have some coffee in it already that my dad gave me. Um, so I'm excited about that. It's really nice coffee. I just bought a cheap jar and I'm gonna do my own sticker on it. So there you go. Also stolen from my dad, I've got some more coffee and uh, vanilla syrup for my coffee. So, thanks dad. And then along with the coffee theme, I got some mugs. Um, I did get four, don't know where the other one's gone, but I will find it hopefully before I go to uni. I literally just got like the cheapest ones I could find because a mug's a mug, you know? I wanted to get these because a lot of people recommended getting a lot of like things that hold drinks. Um, so I got four mugs. Probably a bit too many, but oh well. Other drinking equipment. Um, I got two of these little glasses. They've got little daisies on them. Um, I just thought they're really nice. They're from a charity shop. I really liked them, so I bought them. And then I also got some wine glasses. I got four of these as well um, because I feel like they're gonna get smashed. So I got four. Hopefully that will last me a decent amount of time. <laughs> In terms of like plates and how I will eat, I got this green set. So I got a small bowl, a big bowl, um, a small plate and a big plate. I also did get another bowl though. This is from HomeSense. I really liked it. Um, I feel like it's a perfect size for breakfast or like stir fries, noodles, like pasta, those kind of things. So. I got that. And that's all the bowls and things that I got because I'm trying to convince myself that if I only have like one kind of set that I'm gonna wash it up. We'll see how well that goes. I bought a fruit bowl. Now, I'm aware that this is absolutely huge for one person. However, um, I couldn't find a smaller one. So, bit of an issue there. But anyway, got a fruit bowl because I eat fruit literally all the time and I'm gonna use it. Probably a bit more on the unnecessary purchase side of things, but it will be useful. Moving on to kitchen utensils. I got all of these from Wilco's. I think they have really, really good back to uni stuff. Um, so I got two wooden spoons because I use them a lot. I also got a normal spoon, a slatter spoon, a spatula and a whisk. These are the only ones that I'd use. I wouldn't really use a potato masher or like anything like that. So I was like, what's the point in getting it? Um, so I literally just got them individually instead of in a set. I got some non-slip chopping boards. Oh, also in the utensils thing, I got a can opener and I also got a bottle opener, but I have absolutely no idea where that's gone. So that's a great start. Next up, I got a cutlery set. This is from HomeSense. I'm also not going to take the whole cutlery set because that is literally just me. I'm probably only going to take two sets of cutlery and leave the rest here, but there wasn't any smaller sets and I liked these ones. So got them. I got a jug. I got a plastic one because it was a lot cheaper and I was like, it doesn't matter. So I got a jug. Also got these little bag clips um, for like crisps or things like that. I feel like I'll probably have a lot of snacks in my room when I'm stressed um, that I want to keep airtight. So I got these. This video is going to be so long. I'm so sorry. I will cut it down. So pots and pans and things like that. Um, I got a mini wok, which is really cute. Here's my mini frying pan as well. Again, didn't get a big one, there's only me. I also got a saucepan for things like pasta and rice. And then I got a mini roaster um, because I don't really know what I'm gonna be able to do with my microwave oven. So I'm just gonna take it as it comes. But I got this because I know it will fit in the microwave oven. The other ones wouldn't, so I just got this one. Ooh, I found the other mug. 
I bought this pack of collapsible colanders because I know I use them for pasta and things like that and I feel like that's just an essential uni food. Got a plastic mixing bowl because I probably won't use it too often but I wanted to have it just in case. Got a pack of scissors, knives, found my bottle opener. How pathetic is that? It's literally like tiny. But I was going to get a really expensive bottle opener because I, I kind of gathered from people's videos that you literally end up just opening them on the side of a table at the end of first year so got a mini one it's literally like 50p i got an oven glove because i am prone to burning myself i don't know why um so i got this safety um and then i also got a hand towel for the kitchen i will show you the other towels i got in a second but yeah i got this one i still do need to get some tea towels but i'm just gonna get them from like tesco's or sainsbury's or something and finally for kitchen stuff tupperware um i'm gonna be meal prepping when i'm at uni just be easier. I did it a little bit when I was at college, when I was busy and it really helped me out. So I'm gonna be doing it at uni as well. I got this big set from Danaum. Um, it has like 10 in it, I think. And then I got these two little lunchbox type things for taking my food to uni, if I'm eating at uni. Next up, bedding. So first up, obviously duvet, pretty standard. I got a 10.5 TOG one, thought it'd be best for me, but it obviously depends on what you want, but I got a 10.5 TOG one, and then I got a mattress topper as well. Um, I have a double bed at uni, which I'm really grateful for. And then I also got a mattress protector as well. I got two sheets, both from Wilco's, one white, one gray. And then I got these pillows. Um, they're just standard pillows to be honest. Bedding wise, I wasn't really too fussed. I was like, oh, just find like ones that I like as I go along. Both of them happen to be from Danau. I really bought a lot from Danau, I realize now. Um, so the first one I got is this set. It looks like this. Um, I just really liked it. I thought that it will go really nicely with my uni room, um, even though I kind of don't know what the layout's gonna be of my room, but that's for another day. But anyway, I got that one and then I also got this black and white set. I really, really liked it um, and I think this will go really nicely in my room as well. So those are the beddings I got. Followed advice from other university students that you need two sets of bedding. Um, so I got that. I also bought this throw um, because I've heard that halls are very cold. So I bought a throw just in case, um, although I've got a feeling my duvet will be warm enough. I just got one pattern pillow to go with the bed sheets, although now I realise that both of the bed sheets are also patterned, this won't go, but oh well, it's fine. It's, it's fine, I'll just turn it round. It's a grey pillow, solid. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to bathroom stuff now. So I got two sets of towels, I got this grey set, um, so I got towel, the hand towel, and then I also got two face cloths. And then alongside that, I just got a yellow big towel and a yellow hand towel. The theme of my room is like kind of yellow and grey, but it's kind of, not because I haven't really bought much in those themes apart from the mugs and the towels. And then finally for my bathroom, I got this bath mat. Not particularly interesting, is it? Again, doesn't really go with my theme, but it's fine. It's just a bath mat. Okay, laundry. So first up I have this clothes horse, which is absolutely massive. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. It's a bit of an issue, but it's fine. It does its job. I think I'll use this quite a lot because I'm the kind of person that I'm just like, can't really be asked to wait around for the dryer, so I'm just gonna, I bought one of these. And then it also got a little laundry bag from Amazon. It ties up at the top, which is really useful. Another couple of things that I got clothing wise were some hangers, um, kind of an essential. I am not gonna be taking all of my clothes to university because I'm not that far from home, so I can literally just come home to get them. I bought a couple of hangers to take with me. I will be storing quite a few things in my uni room, so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't taking up like the whole of the wardrobe because I know I'm going to be needing it to store other stuff like my camera equipment and things like that. So I have this little um, shoe rack. I thought this would be really useful. I've seen a lot of people use these in uni rooms. I don't have many shoes but my plan is to put other stuff on here. And then finally we make it on to the more fun stuff. Now I haven't really bought that many decorations for my uni room purely because I kind of just want to keep it really minimalistic. I'm not too fussed. I really just want my room to just be like plain, go home to it, kind of come relax, but can focus in it as well. So I just got like a few things. I said the more interesting stuff, but I got a door stop purely because I'm in a studio and there's like a couple of studios around me. So when we get to university, I want to keep my door open for a little bit to make sure that I actually socialize. So got a door stop. Another thing that I got, which I'm really happy about is this mirror. Um, this is just gonna live on my desk, I think, um, depending on where my desk is, I honestly 
have no idea. Um, the floor plans don't match and we're all a bit confused, but I know I will want this to get ready in, even though I don't really wear much makeup anymore, but I got this vase from Danaum. Um, it's made out of recycled glass and I really, really like it. Um, I'm gonna put some flowers in it. I want to keep fresh flowers when I'm at uni. That's something that I really want to do. So I bought this little vase. I thought it was really nice. I'm currently using my mum's vase. So I kind of can't really steal that to go to uni. That's not fair. So I bought my own. I got a couple of bins, one for the bathroom, one for like my main room. I don't know whether I'm going to need these, but if I don't, then I can always use them for like storage of other stuff. I'm sure I will find something to put in there. And then I also bought a vanilla re-diffuser. I did buy a linen one as well. Again, not sure where that's gone, but I'm sure I'll be able to find it before I do go to uni. But yeah, I got a vanilla one. My favorite scent is vanilla, so got that. And then in terms of like decoration, I still need to get a few more like photos and things like that to put up on my pin board and everything. But I did get a couple of photo frames and as you can see, they've got a couple of photos in them. One of them has my mom, my best friend Emily and I in and I love this photo. Um, it brings back such good memories. So I'm taking it to uni with me in the hopes that the good vibes transfer. And then I also have one of my dad and I, um, because I really love that photo. I believe that's everything. Oh wait, no, it's not. Very random thing to show, um, but a lot of people who are at uni say to bring like flip flops or like some sort of like slipper for walking around in. <laughs> now, obviously I only, I don't really have far to walk. It's literally just like my own space. I got some slippers. Um, these are from the brand Ego and they are so comfortable. I absolutely love them. And I think that's everything that I bought for university so far. I do have a couple more bits to get like tea towels, washing up stuff, cleaning stuff, first aid kit, that kind of thing. I'm gonna get them on like a food shop. So yeah, I haven't got those yet, but I will be getting them before I go. I do move in to uni literally in a couple of weeks. I'm a bit late uploading this. So I now move in to uni in just five days, which is so soon. I'm so excited. Um, stay tuned for the uni content subscribe anyway i am getting really red because i'm so hot in this room right now there's so much stuff in here and there's lights on anyway see you very soon bye you always posting up pictures trying to look like you winning i'm writing rhymes in the kitchen soaking in moments we live in yeah you got the nerve to be on me faking your life for the hygiene if you got my number don't add me because baby i'm on